Growing up, my most fond memory of Neil is when we were going sleigh riding and he decided to take off really quickly down the hill and, and we didn't realize at the bottom of the hill there was a cliff and uh, Neil almost went off that cliff and my dad finally realized at the last second my dad booked. Like, I mean booked, like flash style. So he ran and he ran and he ran and he ran and he took a flying leap and he caught Neil in the process right literally like maybe two inches from cliff's edge and he was laughing the entire way he always loved life and he was he was just a happy kid always enjoyed life always good kid nothing was ever wrong with him we're gonna go and check me out and you know see what's going on with him so now we don't know what condition Neil had. It just kind of it just kind of happened, but I mean it just worsened and worsened and worsened and it just it it didn't turn out good. So <clears throat> hey Neil, mm. how are you doing? Mm. Are you ready to uh. go out and enjoy uh, the town? Mm. Mm. We're gonna get you a. Uh, Double cheeseburger. I know it's your, I know it's your favorite snack. Mm. So uh, let me mm. change it. Now don't go trying to, you know, eat me or anything. Mm. Okay, I'm serious. Mm. Or else, you know, the authorities are gonna come and they're probably gonna shoot you in the head. Mm. So, okay. Mm. All right. You know where the car is now, right? Mm. Okay. Out of my way, Kettler. Yeah. Hey, Neil. You gotta calm yourself. Pace yourself, okay? Dad, I'm just taking Neil out for a little. Hey, that's your, that's your brother. That's your brother. Okay. We're just taking you out. We'll be back. We're just getting double cheeseburger. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know, I don't. Oh crap! I don't think I have my keys on me. No, no, I do. Oh, the door's open. <clears throat> Sit down, and I will buckle you up. Okay. Legs in the vehicle. Okay. You have to cooperate, okay? I'm not gonna ask you again. Sit back! <laughs> Don't you try to eat me, okay? Neil was always, always a good kid in high school. Like, he was always a grade A student. He was always class clown. People loved him. He, you know, this is one joke. I mean, he came out with a joke one time. He came home and told me, you know, and he told me the joke. And we we're like, oh, we started laughing after a while. And then, you know, he's like, he proceeded to leave. And he's like, well, it's been good, kid. The authorities aren't going to take you away, okay? Just don't try to eat me. Mm. You know, you as a zombie, you look like the spitting image of Robert Smith from The Cure. Oh my god, we're listening to The Cure right now. Oh! Two months ago, Neil came down with like a serious cough. We thought it was like bronchitis or like laryngitis, whatever. But uh, he started coming down really bad and he started getting a sore throat after a while. You know, two weeks later, he was bedridden and couldn't even move. Sore all over the place. We figured it was a flu. So we took him to the doctors. The doctors just said it was the flu. So we're like, okay, we'll give him some of this flu shots, blah, blah, blah. All that fun stuff. No problem in the butt like that. No, we were wrong. Hmm. 
Hello there. Hi. I need just one double cheeseburger, but hold the cheese. So, do you want a double ham? Yeah, double hamburger's fine. Alright. That should be it. Alright, so we can come to 108 first one down. Thank you. You're welcome. Another two weeks after that, Neil just started puking up some weird colored stuff, like green like bile type stuff. And I think at that point we knew it was uh, the beginning of the end is what it was. And um, it just, it wasn't good because two days later he just, he, he was just bam, done. And uh, he slept for two days straight. It turns out he actually died, but we thought we figured he was sleeping for two days straight. And then he just, he came to, eyes were all bloodshot and whatnot, and he started attacking my mother. And we're like, Neil, what, what's going on? What's what's wrong? And he just, all, the only prompt response he could come out with was, mm -hmm. that was it. So we had no choice but to chain him up upstairs and notify the authorities. Oh my damn little cheeseburger. Thank you. Here we go, Neil. Neil, take it out of the package first, Neil. Take it out of the package. Neil, what are you doing? Neil, take it out. Neil. That was gross. How's that bird? We had to call uh, CDC and let them know what's going on. And uh, immediately they were like, okay, you have to you have to, he has to take a bolt to the head or else the entire population is going to get infected if he starts eating people. It, it, it's over, like the world would be over. And uh, I was like, that's that's my brother. That's my brother. I can't do that to my brother. All right, Neil. Home sweet home. I'm going to unbuckle you and then you can go upstairs and go to bed, okay? Mm. Good little time we had today there, buddy. Move your fucking arm. Thank you. See, this is to the authorities. He's a nice zombie. He's not gonna. He's not gonna do anything. Let's go to bed. Yeah, I'm tucking you in to go to bed. You need. You need sleep, buddy. What? What? Oh no! Neil, put it down! This isn't fair! Help!
しい。